Hey guys, Mishy here. Welcome back to the Rose of Ranked game number 10. Yay! Hopefully I never have to do original games again until next season. And I can actually start doing stuff and hopefully get a really good ranked. I was so excited and I get in and I was like, can I, can I jungle all please? And they are like, yeah, go ahead. And I was like, yes! Because at this point I was overly competent. Confident, not competent. Competent as well, but overly confident, confident in my ability to play Kha'Zix and do well and he, he was proven to do really well for me already so so we get into the game and someone calls AD carry and they pick Fiora and I was like Fiora is not an AD carry and they wouldn't choose they like insta locked Fiora and I was like what happened I asked him what I was like what are we gonna do if she loses to Ezreal because she's kind of not ranged and this game this game really upset me because the game before game number nine which i didn't have footage for i was like yeah we deserve to win this game and we lost for stupid reasons we get into this game and we this was a win but it was like i was glad to win but i didn't feel like my teammates deserved to win and i i, I i'm hoping that i'm not just being mean and that you'll see that for yourself some of the mistakes they were making and not knowing what to do it was like oh are we playing beginner bots and do i have to teach you how to play the game because what are you doing but yeah so i was really really worried about the fiora and i was like oh, i don't know what to do i really hope you're at least good with fiora because i mean ezreal was had triple her farm <sighs> she's like what are you gonna do so I, I kind of wanted to make it my priority to play in bot, and we kill Vala Bear, which is nice. We just run into the bush and we're like, "Oh, a bear!" and we kill him. And look, Fury got a double kill. And we were like, "Hey, maybe she'll be good. Maybe she'll do stuff." We can hope, I guess. So we kind of run around, holding the lane for Rise to get back. I feel like, I can't remember if this rise was really good or really bad. I felt like, I feel like this rise, okay, I could be wrong and we'll find out later and I just jump ahead like I normally do, but I feel like this rise wasn't comfortable playing rise. Look, Fiora got a kill. I just, it was like we would get into team fights and I'd be like, I've never played rise. I've never played rise, but... I've played against Rise Bot so many times that you expect a Rise to do things in team fights, and this one didn't do it. But I don't know. But we were doing pretty well. We were keeping up with them, and I was so glad that Fiora was actually doing decently well. I was hoping that she could keep doing that well. I'd also like to point out that it's 13 minutes in the game, and people are roaming, and I hate roamers. I hate roamers because we don't, I um, don't remember if the team was good at warding or not, but I die and Soraka dies. And what, okay, okay, let's talk about this Soraka. You'll see this later on. I surely turn on, I really wish I had turned on all chat for this because it was funny. Um, this Soraka didn't stay bot with Fiora. And I also like to point out the tin farm that the Soraka had, and that wasn't an accident. That was the Soraka actually farming. And yeah, she was too concerned with farming and getting kills and not helping Fiora. I was so glad that Fiora was actually able to take care of herself. Because, I don't know, it just, it upset me so much. And here, Ryze is walking in to give them three kills. That's three kills they got there. Yeah, not okay. So I was like, crap, <laughs> now they're winning and kills. I don't know it doesn't mean anything, but they were winning. We were winning. In, they were winning in gold. Yeah, they were winning in gold. So I did my best to keep farming and get items and to see what I could do to help. And the Raka, notice how the Raka was top. Notice how the Raka was top. Nowhere near the AD carry. Nowhere trying to help the AD carry. Doing nothing of importance. And I was like, we were like, what are you doing, Rocket? Please go with Fiora. Please stay with our, quote, 80 carry, end quote. And she was like, 
but I need to farm and you guys aren't letting me farm. And we we're like, um, are you joking? And she was like, I need farm. I need items. And we we're like, no, you're Soraka. You don't get farm. You try to make sure that the AD carry gets farm and gets fed. And she was like, but I need items. And we we're like, no, you need wards. Please buy wards and ward. And I died because she wouldn't, wouldn't do it. And I was like, oh, am I really going to lose this game? Because I'm with someone that's, I mean, it's like, to me, it's common knowledge that as a support, you don't farm. I mean, if you can get it, sure, farm. It's not completely ignore it, but don't go out of your way to go get farm when you're, you could be helping in a team fighter doing something. But, oh well. So they went to do dragon and they got it and... Of course, the Soraka gets caught in an odd position and dies for it. And we're kind of trying to, like, we're walking around the jungle trying to hope to help. And Darius did get a double kill, which was really nice. But they were still ahead of kills, and this still could have been an easily lost game. I was ex full expecting these people to win. Full expecting these people to win. Just completely expecting it. So they, they were, they had another tower down, an extra tower down than we did, and there wasn't much we could do. The Soraka was really being incompetent and just kept insisting on the fact that she needed to get farm and wasn't really helping in team fights. Uh, we gave Olaf a triple kill, which just, ah, uh, ah. Uh. But look, Fiora got a triple kill in response. So that's, that's nice. At least it wasn't a wasted... At least something got accomplished from that. This Soraka made me so mad. I remember when we won this game, I was like, Tibble, these people didn't deserve to win. And I'm really pretty sure the... I want to say that the Darius was super, super bitchy. He was cussing in the chat and acting like a four-year-old and... Oh, he was just super annoying. So we almost get aced. Yeah, it's like, guys, we need to focus and we need to get back together. Raka, stop farming. Stay with us. Ward. Ward like crazy. Be a real support. And we need to not lose team fights. So Ezreal goes down in that engagement. Yay. Already, they don't have an AD carry for 30 seconds. And yeah, we kind of beat them over the head with that. I am jumping in, jumping out, jumping in, doing whatever I can to help. And... I feel like the Rise could have done more there. They were all three really low, and they aced us, almost. All except for Darius. And I was like, oh, but, 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 that's, that's so many kills ahead. I was, I was a little upset. But, I mean, what are you going to do? The Soraka was insisting on farming her 28 farm, and I was like, stop it. <laughs> Just stop it. I remember I told Heska, Heska's favorite character is Soraka. I remember telling her about the Soraka and she was like, what? <laughs> she was so mad. So yeah, team fight going on there. I, I left because I was tired of dying. I was, I was 0 7 13 at this point. Oh my god. I was doing tons of team fights, but I wasn't getting kills. Even though I got a double kill though. But yay, double kill. So, thankfully, that went decently better. We did ace them, so we c were able to farm. And it's like they kept getting super ahead of us in kills, but we were we were decent enough to catch back up. Like you can see here, there's only a six kill difference, which there is a there is almost a ten k gold difference. But so they go for dragon again. Of course, we're like, oh, just let them have it because that's what we do. And then, look, surprise, another team fight. Because that's what we that's all we did this game. But I was determined. But no, I didn't get it. But Fiora, I wanna point out that Fiora was 14, 6, and 7 at this point. She did get a triple kill on that. And as much as I think it was a really, really idiotic idea to play Fiora in an AD carry position, I mean it worked. But I hope that person learned their lesson. It's not always going to work. If you're against a Katie Care that knows what they're doing, they're going to take advantage of it. 
So we see they're going for Baron. Do we notice? Please tell me we notice. We do notice. We know they're there. And they want to go for it. But Soraka immediately goes in and dies because the Soraka was useful. Useless. I'm sorry. I can't even believe I almost, almost, like, gave you a compliment. Useless. So we go in. We're killing them. And we're like, yay, look. Look. We're doing something. And then we were like, we need a Baron. Because if they're that Baron hungry, they're going to want it. And the Soraka teleports in. Why does the Soraka have tele- What does she have? Teleport and exhaust. Ugh. Ah. So here we have Baron. And we're like, alright, we need to take advantage of this. We need to get these minions out of our base. We need to push like crazy. And we're already pretty much winning team fights. We're getting things better. And we need to be able to keep winning team fights. Especially now that we have Baron. So unfortunately, I get caught in this awkward situation. But I run back. And do I survive? Yeah, it looks like I survive. And the Fiore gets kills. And we do win this team fight. I'm No, maybe not. I guess not. No, did they... Okay, so they almost aced us with Baron. That's not almost winning this team fight, but we did ace them back. So, I mean, I don't know. All the fights were like this. They were super close. And I was like, please, can we just hurry up and win this game? Because if not, we're going to lose. And as much as you guys deserve to lose, <laughs> we need to win. Of course, I didn't tell them that. I was doing my best to be positive and telling the rocket to stop farming. But, what are you going to do? So, we're determined to come around and catch them off guard, and it worked. We got two of them. At this point, I was 5, 8, 19. That's so much. That's so much. And this is about the point where we win, because the wall recorder is slowing down in super slow motion. We ace them, and we have a good 30 seconds to win before anyone else comes up. So, yeah. We win! Yay! Awesome! Super awesomes! So much awesomes! And I'm trying to remember if I can... Ranked bits. Um... This is... Yeah. So, um, that was my 10th game. And we won. So, currently, I, coming out of the provisionals, I have won 4 and lost 6. My solo DOQ score, or ELO, even though ELO is not a thing anymore when you'll be watching this, but it was 11.44. And I was kind of disappointed, but I was like, I mean, I could get 1,200 really soon. Like, I'm close. I'm close to being at a decent... I was hoping I would end up in silver, but I didn't. I don't think I won enough games to be in silver, but yeah. So even though ELO is not a thing and it's not reset... Um, for any of those that are wondering, I'm actually in bronze three, and I'm kind of, kind of upset over that because I was like, but I was hoping I'd be higher, but I feel like if I deserve to be higher, then these bronze games will be easily handled. So thank you for watching and thank you for your support and stay tuned for more to see if I actually win something and, or if it's going to stay though as a ranked forever because at this point it needs to. And have a great day guys. Bye.